From one depressing thing to another, this is just an article that I stumbled upon that I found very interesting. Miami woman, 18, arrested for allegedly trying to hire a hitman to kill her three-year-old son. Now, we've seen the video of, like, I mean, I've, I've heard of multiple situations of, like, uh, some like, a, like someone hiring a hitman to, like, kill their wife or husband or something like that. But their three-year-old son, that's a new one for me. I actually haven't researched this one at all. I just saw the article, and I, I really it, it really stuck out to me. I want to know what's happening here. A teen mom posted bond to get out of jail after allegedly plotting to have her three-year-old son killed. Police say she attempted to hire a hitman online through the website rentahitman.com. What? What? Dude, there's no way that's real. Rentahitman.com. It's real. Your point and click solution. Is this like a, is this a meme? The dark web is not safe, but we are. <laughs> There's no way. Is this, yeah, is this like a setup from cops or some shit just to dupe people? Did they just make this fake website? There's no way this is actually real, right? This is a fake website that, yeah, that, that the cops set up. Dude, do they have a 30 day money back guarantee? Got a problem that needs resolving? Since 1920, Rent a Hitman has assisted a diverse range of satisfied clients, including ordinary citizens of all ages, government employees, and even political figures. Our experience allows us to handle any delicate situation with precision and efficiency while ensuring 100% compliance with the Hitman Information Privacy and Protection Act of 1964. Aren't satisfied? <laughs> Are, we have a 100% money back guarantee. Tired of getting bullied? Rent a Hitman. What? We can make any troubled relationship disappear. Dude. Yeah, hey you. Yeah, uh, you're looking for a hitman? You got an issue <laughs> that needs resolving? Uh, look no further than rent a hitman, your point and click solution. Yeah, we're on the world wide web. Not the deep web, not the dark web, the world wide web. And and uh Is this just a meme? I mean, I, I know, obviously, it's a meme. I, I just want to clarify, I'm not an idiot. This is this is obviously a meme, but I'm just like, is this a meme or is this like cops or the FBI like making a dumbass fake website to fool idiots? Customer testimonials. Guido and his public relations crew at Rena Hitman were able to resolve a five-year dispute in a matter of days. Highly recommended. Caught my husband cheating with the babysitter and our relationship was terminated after a free public relations consultation. I'm single again and looking to mingle. Thanks, Guido. <laughs> Dude. Guido Finelli and family. This is hilarious. This is fucking hilarious. All right. This is video from just a short time ago of 18-year-old Jasmine Paez walking out of jail in West Miami-Dade. According to the arrest report, investigators say that website, Rent a Hitman, is fake and the website owners are actually oh you don't say <laughs> actually the ones who sent Piaz's information to police okay so it is a meme it's not a police thing so like that that's literally she's so fucking stupid that a a, a joke meme website fooled her you know i wonder if they catch if they catch people like multiple people i wonder if like they started it as a joke and then, like, they started getting people actually asking and inquiring about stuff. And then, like, oh, shit. We could actually use this to arrest people. The toddler, we're told, is safe and sound. There will be a hearing for the child this afternoon. Bro, wh what the f As for Paez, she is charged with soliciting first-degree murder and a felony charge of unlawful use of a device. Dude, how... Always alerting. Always... How would it feel when you grow up? And then you realize, oh shit, my mom tried to kill me <laughs> with the hit, man. What the fuck? <clears throat> Jasmine uh, pa Paez <clears throat> of Miami is charged with first degree. Okay, she does not look 18. Just want to clarify that. She looks like she's in her 40s. First degree solicitation of murder. Investigators say she was contacted on Tuesday by a man who operates a fake hire assassin website to report that the woman had contacted the operator to arrange a murder for hire for the young child. According to the police, the website founder created the online site to catch and curb. Oh, shit. So they did. That's sick. That's actually pretty cool that they did that. So I was right. It wasn't the cops, but it was like someone who built it for that reason. 
Police said that the suspect provided the address for the child and his picture to help facilitate the request. Dude, you have to be an extra type of idiot to fall for that shit. How much did she pay? Good question. Oh, wait. Investigators then posed that the hired hitman and conducted a conversation with the woman who confirmed the request and agreed to pay $3,000 for the murder assignment. Police went to the address and spoke to the child's grandmother who identified the child as intended victim based on the murder request submitted online. The boy was found safe and sound at the residence. Police then went to the woman's home and arrested her. So they basically did that whole thing they did to that one woman where they did the whole, like, you know, prank situation. <laughs> but they did. <laughs> but it was for a three-year-old child. Dude. Oh, this is, this is insane, man. That's crazy. That's fucking crazy. Your three-year-old child. I, I, I'll still never understand people who, like, want to get rid of their children that bad. <clears throat> yeah, and she's 18. So she had him at um 15? Yeah, okay. She had him at 15. She was too young to have a kid? <clears throat> well, yeah. No shit. But the thing, okay. Situations like this. There's something called adoption. It's the same as divorce. When people hire hitmen uh, to kill their husband or wife. There's something called divorce. And there's also something called, uh, uh, and, and, you know, a place to give up your children in order for them to find a better family. You could give them up for adoption instead of killing them. If you have a child of 15, honestly, they would be happy to take your child and give them up to someone. Or abortion, that too. But you know how that works in this country. That's the reason I didn't bring up abortion because that's such a fucking difficult thing nowadays and there's a billion options like you could literally take your child to a police station and drop it off if you're that desperate like the child will still have a better life because the cops will figure something out at least the baby won't have to worry about dying to a fucking hitman god damn dude now it's time to walk away i hope you enjoyed your stay did you laugh or cry or maybe subscribed? I'll thank you either way. You know I will miss you. I hope you return. Tell your friend or your mother to get me more views.